Welcome back savages to another video. In today's video we're going to bring some star power. Now unfortunately the budget doesn't extend to bringing in celebrities so instead we're going to be looking at a crypto project called star power. So this is their website starpower.world. When you go to there and you click on documents there is a light paper you can look at to get all the information. So if we click on what is star power tells you it's a decentralized energy network that connects energy devices like air conditioners, home storage batteries and electric vehicles. So you can go ahead and take a look at the light paper to get information on it. There's a mission and values, problems they solve. So just coming down to the token section you can see the name of their token is called STAR which represents the utility of their network. 70% of this token is going to go to builders and by builders what they mean is essentially users, stakeholders and employees and in total there's 1 billion star tokens which are going to be distributed so you can see it from this graph right here. Some information there on the consensus mechanism. How to measure the baselines. Transitions between phases. Something about the foundation and operating body. And some community and guidance right here as well. So how can you get involved in this project? Well, they do have a couple of products in the pipeline. Namely a star battery and a star charger. But currently you can actually buy the star plug. So the star plug is classed as a plug and play device. And it starts at $99. And as you can see from these pictures, there's different types of connections depending on where you're based, which is good. So on the checkout page you can choose the plug type. So this is the Korean, European, Russian one right here. GBR, that's the one I've ordered. Australia, China. And then you've got the USA version right there as well. So I went ahead and ordered this version a couple of months ago and it just arrived recently. So in this video we're going to do a full unboxing setup and then we're going to finish off by doing a power consumption test of the actual star power plug itself. Let's go. So just before we unbox it, let's just have a look at the packaging. Quite well built and protected, so it's been good in transit. If we look on the back, just quickly at the stats, you can see the input is rated at between 100 and 200 volts. You've got some max power ratings right here, and the max current is 13 amps. So the box itself has got a little magnetic catch right here, so that's pretty good. If we open it, first thing you get is the user guide. There's a QR code right here where you can take it to their website and get some instructions. But it shows you how to power it on. And you basically have to download an app called Star Power onto your phone. And I'll show you how to do that shortly. But that's about it. So the plug itself. Nice and simple. Obviously you pick the type of plug you want. I went for the UK version. And you've got the on off and pairing switch right here. And that just plugs into the wall socket that you've got. Nice and simple. Nothing else in the box. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this up on the app. So here we are on the phone. I've just installed the Star Power app. Once you've got the app installed, open it and go along to the device tab right here. And it shows you the number of devices that are going to be available through this project. So at the moment, the Star Plug is the only one that's on sale. Coming soon is something called the Star Battery and the Star Charger. So we're going to go ahead and plug this in. So it's just come on there and there's a flashing green light. So we're going to go ahead and click on claim your star plug. It says here, plug in your device. Please press and hold the button for two to six seconds. Release when you see a quick flash. Click on next. So it's just come up with a little message saying, would you like to use Bluetooth? We're going to allow that. So obviously that's how it connects to it. So it's just scanning Bluetooth right now. So it's picked the device and we press it. So now it's just found the Wi-Fi's that are available. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter the password. So I've just entered the password for the Wi-Fi. It's come up with a message just saying connecting. It's now saying loading device identifier remaining time is less than two minutes. 
So now it's given me the device's public address right here on the top line. And on the bottom line, it's got the device's KY code. So we're just going to do next to that. It says choose the device you're going to bind it to. So we're just going to pick the account right there. And then it's going to go ahead and ask you to confirm your location. So I'm going to click on allow while using the app. And then I'm going to click on claim. And that's it, we're all done. So now on the devices, you can see that the star plug is all connected up. So at the moment, it looks like it's offline. So I'm just going to press that toggle there and put it online. So it's online right now. And you can hear it click on the plug there when it goes like that. If we click on the little cog here on the right hand side, there's something called device management and you can give it a name. So we can also go into the firmware update right here. And it says currently the latest version, version 71, latest version 35, size is about two megabytes. So a couple of other useful things in the device tab while you're in there, click on your star plug. Obviously, whatever device is connected to the star plug, you can switch it on and off just by using that toggle right there. There is also a very useful monitoring section right here as well. So we've got a device connected at the moment and you can see how much current it's using, how much power, today's online duration and today's power consumption. There is a transaction section here at the bottom, but that's not live just yet. There's also an earnings section, so you can see how many star tokens you earned last week, as well as the total. There's also an Explorer tab right here where you can click it and see where the installations are, which is good to see. And there's also a personal tab. So here we are on the personal page and I'm just going to explain how the claims work. So every Sunday, this claims button becomes enabled and you can claim your tokens. So during the week when you've got the plug connected up to your device, it's earning tokens in the back end. And to claim it, that will become visible and enabled on the Sunday. Click that and claim your tokens. So just here at the bottom, you might have noticed I've got a collectible called a Pioneer Pass. This is an NFT you can buy, which can earn you extra rewards in the form of Nova tokens. I'll leave a link in the description where you can actually buy this Pioneer NFT. But once it's been activated, it'll appear here in your dashboard homepage. Essentially, twice a day, this will allow you to claim additional Nova tokens. Uh, if you look at the screen right now, I've got about 149 available on that star plug. And to simply collect them twice a day, you just click on the button right there. And it'll add it to your balance. So once you've claimed your tokens, you'll just get a waiting message like that until the next claim window. So I've just plugged the battery charger into the star plug just to see if it works OK, which it does. You've got a flashing green light to see it's charging the battery. So what I'm going to do is on the app itself, there's a toggle right here which should turn the plug off. So we're just going to go ahead and press that and see what happens. Right, there is about a three or four second delay, but it definitely does turn off the device connected to it. So that's good. So to finish off with, we're going to do some power consumption tests. So we've got the power meter plugged in. Here's our star plug. Plug it in. I'm just going to lift it up so you can see the reading. I'm just going to let it settle for a bit. So there we go. In standby, it's using round about 1.4, 1.5 watts of power. If we toggle across to the amps, it's about 0 0.009 amps. So the project itself is very much still in the building stage. They've obviously got this one product release, which is a star power plug. So it's still on testnet, as you can see from the app right there. But I just thought I'd do a quick unboxing and setup video for you guys. So if you like this video, please leave a like and a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one.